morning. And she has no idea what she's doing. No. So we've had breakfast. What are we doing now, Charlotte? Well, that's why you've got cream on your Sun cream people yeah, got sun cream up, <laughs> even though that's moisturiser. Moisturiser and sun cream, both important part of the day. Yeah, I think you wanted to go... Buy a TV magazine. It's TV Tuesday, guides. part of the daily ritual on my Tuesday is go and buy a TV magazine, which I read for about two minutes. And, and then, then I just... pass it on to me, and then when I've got work, I never get around to reading it, but I will just done. So yeah. And then we're going to go on an hour's drive and to a mystery location that Charlotte doesn't know to do a mystery activity that I've planned that she doesn't know about. So basically we can't really tell you a lot. We're just going to say morning, enjoy the rest of the vlog and... Are going to Peng Is we going to go into Paynton Beach beforehand or not? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really planned this morning. Basically our activity is at 2pm and it's like 10 o'clock. So like a couple of hours. So um, yeah. Yeah, See how the day goes. The tree. <coughs> now she needs a Doris clean. needs a clean. And there's a cobweb in the wing mirror with bits of tree. Are you sad? Very emotional. I'm going to take a photo and send it to my dad. We've <laughs> under a tree. Look what happened, Dad. I even said to Perry, I was like, you sure you want to park here? Because like your car's going to get covered. And that's what it gets from parking underneath a tree. <laughs> Look at the room. But now I don't know where we're going. But he's now taking photos of his car to send it to his dad. Dad, look what happened to my car. <laughs> Doris is covered. She dirty. So yeah, I don't know where we're going. I'm driving as pure usual because... Even though I keep saying to Perry, it's your turn to drive, and he just doesn't I'm, want to I'm drive. I'm new to driving. I've taken it easy. No. So yeah, I don't know where we're going, but just basically going to drive in this very dirty Doris. But yeah. Do you want me to go first down here? Or let... Where are you going? We have gone to Jacob's Creek just for to kill an hour um, before we go to whether Perry's decided to book. So yeah, we're just going for a little walk um, along Jacob's Creek. And, I'm, and I have no idea where Perry's gone. He's doing to me. He hates it when I run away from him and now he's disappeared from me. So do you want it sideways as well? No, just that way to be
Oh my god, Perry. I need a seat, it's like my nanny's sausage roll steps. Oh my god, my legs. We're sitting down now. We walked up some very steep stairs. I'm getting hot air being blown from yeah, the ceiling. Yeah, it's because there's like a kitchen there, I think, so we're getting all the hot air. <sighs> Alright, so it's time that we go to our next location that Charlotte doesn't know of yet. Do you know what we're doing? Because we're nearly there now. We're going alpaca trekking. Alright, yeah. Alpaca, alpaca trekking. So all nine of us are going to get our own alpaca and we're going to walk it like a dog on a lead and we're going to walk. Yeah, so we're going to a place which is like an alpaca farm and they've got loads of alpacas. We'll get an alpaca each and we're going to go for an hour and a half trek and we all have our own alpaca on a lead and we walk it and we walk the whole hour and a half walk is with our own alpaca. <laughs> I quite like that. I was like, when I saw it I was like, and there's pictures, so everybody's walking, they've got like, the, the, the reason I said it'd be better in a smaller group is because I saw one woman and she had like three alpacas. Like yeah, she had like, look, we're in a group of nine, so we'd probably be lucky if we get one between us or one each, maybe. I don't know. But there was some of the smaller groups, like people of just like five, they had multiple alpacas. And there's one they're walking through like a, in the forest, and, and, and she's like pulling her alpaca along. <laughs> that probably is quite cool, actually. So, uh, yeah, I've never heard of that before. Alpaca trekking. Alpaca trekking. So we're going to, so we're going to a place called like Bread House Alpacas. And yeah, we're going to go out back and drink. I've never heard of that before. No? And they, so it's an hour and a half trek. They keep telling you we're going for a walk. But the, the twist walk, is, but we're, we're going to have gonna a, a furry friend with us. Yeah, if like walking a dog. <laughs> just but a rather, big dog. Rather, rather but the real thing, I don't know how that, I don't know if they're very friendly. I, I'm assuming that like, they must be used to people. They're because if they're llamas, I think they're the ones that are more like Yeah, spit, these know, aren't llamas, these are alpacas. alpacas and also right. she does this like every week, so they must be used to people. Hmm. And yeah, it had good a couple of good reviews. But they're not, it's not, it's like a little small, little farm who just own alpacas and this is what they do. It's not like a big well-known thing. So hmm. yeah. No, it'd be quite good. Alpaca trekking. We film what we can. So this is the name of the place if like the right place. if the alpaca trekking um, interests you. The alarm whisperer. <laughs> alpaca whisperer. <laughs> Well, Perry has actually technically got food. We don't like it. You can always have a go. Oh, look at you all. You need a frog. <laughs> oh, look. I don't know if you can see, but there's actually one there's one in the hay field. I don't know how he's going to go in there. No, I don't. So, as you saw, we are at a farm shop. We just had something to eat, and in this farm shop, and they've actually got animals so we actually found this on actually our way back 
to Torquay um, to our home to our B&B chickens are everywhere so we just found this on route so yeah so if you are ever passing Greendale farm shop especially if you've got like kids um, and stuff it's a place where I've gone for you can get um, like chicken feed as well which I think is bang it's like 50p which is really good so yeah if you're ever passing around this area I would definitely recommend on coming here especially if you're peckish as well and you like good fish and chips but yeah so we're going to a little wander around the farm and then we'll go back to the B&B which is the football which is at seven o'clock which is the England v Columbia so we are going to watch that in the hotel and then it'll probably be calling it a night so yeah and to show you the animals My little chicken friend, I'm going to name him Pablo. Pablo the chicken. He is my friend. Go on, Pablo. Charlotte, I named him Pablo. She's on a tractor. Farm of hell. <laughs> normally Yeah, them ones for some reason do. Perry feeding those chickens. So many, I've never seen Look at this guy. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> Come on, Harry. Do anything tomorrow because it'll be our travelling day home. So it's our last four day. The weather's not as good as what it has been. It's not as warm and it is it, it's still very damp. It rained overnight, so not too sure what the day is gonna come to, but I didn't really end it last night. You can kind of tell by watching this that we watched football. Um somehow we surprisingly won against penalties which never really happens for us it's like the first time since <coughs> 1990 or something since we've got through that stage um, that stage so fingers crossed think about going padstow um where it's yeah. padstow no painton Pain where did i say padstow she's making up basically i'm making up <laughs> painton because it came with p yeah. i don't know where padstow even come from but painton um because they have it's a beach there is actually a zoo there as well so we might go there potentially but perry's still looking at other places because it could yeah. be could just not too today. sure at the moment of what we're going to be getting up to i think it's just going to play it by ear as they say and see where we go from there but yeah so going to painton not padstow is there even a place called Padstow? There is a place called Padstow. Let me look. All right, keep the camera going. I think All there right. is... Where's that again? Padstow. Padstow. There oh, is. there is Padstow. Okay, there is. Hold on. Let me show you how close it is. Oh, because it's I... It's in Cornwall. So there is a place called Padstow in Cornwall. <laughs> I told you, I'm like, I know that name from somewhere. Padstow. Is it far? Oh, no, it's over near, like, Tintagel. It's probably because I Tint... saw a sign. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah it's was over that driving. direction. Catch you later. <laughs> yeah, because there's probably a, it says yellow. I yellow can't on see there. No so so, for the first time of the whole holiday, I've been trying to get Perry to drive because that was the reason why he was taking our car. I don't like. <laughs> yeah, go. Ooh. Go, Perry, go. Yeah. <laughs> Stand in the middle. It's easier. It's not very easy. So we have arrived at Sunny Pinkton. Hey. So we can't. Perry was like pack sh pack shorts. It's gonna be really nice. The weather's been really lovely. So a bit cold. It's gonna be broad jumpers. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you. 
And today we have one a minion. Whoa. <laughs> For ten P. More like five pounds. Rock, paper, scissors, and the loser pays for us to go into the castle. You ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Man's got to pay. You're paying for the suit. We've got our audio so we can track along with what's going on. If you can see, you can just about make out a painting that's from like the 15th, 16th century. It was painted um, on the walls. Perry's in the fireplace. It's about two, three fireplaces, but there would have been loads of floors. Throw it and hit the water. Hey, so it is out. We are going home now. Sadly, even though I don't really want to go. Sad. Sad times. But yeah. So at the Glenary, um, Kenny made us feel very welcome. As it kind of felt like we was at home, but sadly we have to leave. It doesn't feel like a hotel when you just bowl downstairs, turn on the telly, play Mario Kart, and go, "Oh, Kelly, make us a coke." <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't feel like a hotel. No, no, she was really lovely. So like, I'd recommend if any of you guys are going to Torquay to go to the Glenary. Feels like home. Yeah, feel like home. You kind of like her little thing that says on the wall. You come in as guests and you leave as like friends it's very true um but yeah so this is the end of our talky well devon slash cornwall mm, we went to cornwall for a for day like a day yeah so to kind of castle so we did go to cornwall for a day so, so it's devon it's and more cornwall. Of a devon cornwall kind of vlog but yeah thank you for watching and definitely be coming back probably next year so bye